Okie dokie. So I've now covered every tool that you need to know in Artlantis in order to create your models and apply textures, light, objects. Okay. Um, so there's quite a lot of information to take in, but obviously all the videos are available for you and the slides as well. Okay. So I've finished my model and what I've done is I've come back to my perspectives and using this scene section here, I've taken four different pictures of my model that you can see. Okay, so I've got my outdoor hot tub that's going to be one render, early morning that's going to be another render, early morning indoor that will be another render, and then bedroom, evening bedroom. Okay, and I've decided that I want to render my hot tub first. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to come to my tone settings. So I need to make sure I'm in my perspectives inspector okay and then you can see these settings on the side over here okay these are our three post process options so these are your tone settings is the top one so if I click on that okay this drop down menu appears and you can see we have two slider options we've got light tones and dark tones Okay, so I can increase the number of dark tones in my model. You can see here that it's changing the way my model looks. And my light tones. Okay, so you can change these until you're happy with the way it's looking. Okay, so once you're happy with that, you can click OK. Then I have my next button, okay, and this button is three lines RGB. Okay, so if I click on this button, you can see lots of this, this drop-down menu appears. Okay, so you can increase the saturation if you want to, the colors in your model, you can see everything just got a bit darker there, brighter. Okay, a bit more rich. You can change the contrast, you can make it really bright if you want to. Contrast and brightness, yes. So DOF stands for depth of field. Okay, so this changes like the blur of the image. Okay, if you want to. We then have vignetting. Okay, so it's basically an Instagram filter that you can add if you want to. Then we have glow, creates a glow over the whole scene. Edges creates a hand drawn effect on the edges of your model. Okay, if you want to, then we have, oh, sorry, just let it load. You can change the transparency as well. Okay, my model's taking a long time to load as it's got quite a lot in it at the moment. And then you can also ha create a paint effect on your model as well if you want to. But I'm quite happy with all of that, so I'm going to click OK. Okie dokie, and the last post processing is our rendering parameters. And this is quite, uh, there's a lot of information here. So we're going to start with the top section where it says physical engine ambience and settings. Okay, so physical engine is high rendering quality selection. Okay, ambience. You can choose low light, interior or exterior. I'm going to say custom because that's the one that I've chosen. Then we have settings of the render. Do you want it to be fast, of medium quality or high quality? So I'm going to say quality for this one. Depending on how much is in your model, that's probably going to take me quite a long time. 
All right, now I'm going to come to this part of my rendering settings. Okay, we have our rendering size, so how big we want your image to be. So you may need to increase your size if how depending on how big you're going to have it on your board. Then we've got our resolution, so how many dots per inch. Okay, and the size we want it to be. Okay, so you can increase this from 72 to whatever number you want. So if I, I might say 300. Then we have our anti aliasing okay here and this smooths lines and creates a more realistic render okay it takes a higher however the higher your anti aliasing sorry okay the longer the render will take for more accurate renders showing tiny details you want to select the 4x4 four four. the moment I'm not going to select it because I think it's going to take too long then we've got our middle section Okay, so let's look at global illumination. Okay, so we've got our accuracy. So the range is 1 to 5, and it changes indirect light. So 1 is the fast to render. Increase the level only if the details don't seem uh, good enough. Okay, we've got hemisphere. Controls the number of samples taken to estimate the global lights at a given location. And we've got... Interpolin interpolation, sorry, the smoothing distance between samples. So the lower the value, the faster the rendering. Smoothing applied reduces lighting. Okay, then we're going to move over onto our sampling. Okay, so the materials concerns the diffuse reflection of materials if there is too much noise in the rendering process. Okay, then we've got light. So it affects the lights. If there is too much noise in the render, increase the value. And then we've got enhanced background. So it turns the sky into a light source. Okay, we don't want to use that one. Then we're going to move over again, and we're going to look at the ambient occlusion. Okay, so it brings greater depth and reliefs to the image. Um, it is simply a simulation of the shadowing caused by objects blocking the ambient light. Okay, and then... We've got where it talks about the size. So it ranges from 1 to 100 centimeters. So this is the size of the shadow from the geometry. And intensity is the power of the shadow. So again, if you turn this on, it will uh, increase the time it takes for your render to render. Okay, I'm going to pop it on just because I want to create a nice image. And then we move over again and we have our camera settings basically. So ISO sets the sensitivity of surfaces. Then we've got our shutter speed, so how quickly and what's the exposure, okay, just like a normal camera. Underneath is the exposure, so how much light is allowed in, which you can play with if you want to. And then we have the white balance, so it allows you to adjust the intensity of the colors when the box is checked. So you, there's lots of settings here that you guys can play with and have a look at, okay. Depending on the settings that you choose, these will change, but then you can also customize them if you want to. When I'm happy, I'm going to click OK. You need to do your post-processing for every different scene that you guys have. Okay. So, now we are ready to render. Okay, this first image, where I'm quite happy with the way it's looking. So what I'm going to do is come up to these top six little squares up here. All right, and if I click on the camera, okay, it will say final rendering, and I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it Outdoor Hot Tub. And I can see now format JPEG. Okay, that's what I want. I can choose render later and open the Artlantis Render Manager and render all four at once if I want to. Okay. And you can see here are all the settings that I've chosen, okay, for my rendering. Okay, so I'm saving it as a JPEG on my desktop, calling it what I want. And when I'm happy and ready, what I'm going to do is click Render Now. And you guys will see that this rendering screen pops up. All right, final rendering. And it's increasing the size of my image.
Okay. And at the moment it looks like nothing is happening. Okay, that's because I've made my render quite large. All right, with a lot of detail and it will take quite a long time to render. Okay, there we go. We can see that something is starting to happen. Okie dokie. So you can see that in my picture, more and more pixels are starting to appear. Okay, and this is the rendering process. Okay, sometimes around the campus, you may see computers that say, please do not touch rendering in process. That's because the more settings you take up and the different programs you use for rendering, uh, Outlantis is just one example. You could use 3D Max as well, or Podium or Maxwell Render. Depending on how large the file is and how much detail there is, it will take longer and longer to render. All right. So when, I'm going to stop recording, but when this is done, I'll post the final render in the discussion forum as well, along with the videos, so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, thanks.